Now here comes the notification of the Central University of Gujarat. So this is a Central University is in Gujarat and uh, the PhD program is for the academic year 2023 and 24. So this university is very good, no doubt, but there are a few confusion among the students like those who are UGC net holders or JRF holders or gate holder or any other fellowship holders, what they have to do. So please uh, be careful. Listen it very carefully about the eligibility because if you seriously want to take admission in this university, just because of some points, some confusion, it <clears throat> might not happen that your application will be rejected and you will not be selected for the final admission. So now the eligibility criteria, this is very important. Listen it very carefully. So if you, uh, you are having a one year master's degree program, so it must you must have a four years bachelor's degree program got it and if your master's degree is of two years duration then your bachelor's degree must be minimum of three years duration with 55 percent marks in the ma uh, master's degree so please be careful in the master's you have to secure at least minimum 55 percent marks plus relaxation will be given to the category student so if you are in the category you can claim from any part of india because this is a central university so irrespective of your state irrespective of your district you can take a five percent of relaxation in the category student <clears throat> now if your bachelor's is of four years means professional degree like b pharma then you can directly take the phd admission but your minimum percentage marks will be 75 percent in that case 55 percent and the professional degree 75 percent plus 5% relaxation to the category student that is the same so 70% marks with a four years bachelor's degree program you can apply this form now the mphil candidates can also apply it now the very important thing is that the selection is based on the two tier system so what is the two tier system the very first is the entrance test and the second part is the interview now most of them are confused like as per the ugc standard what is the uh, entrance test and what will be the interview so entrance test is for all or not that is the main confusion so yes the entrance test must be uh, like for the all student so you have to give the entrance test so see this is the schedule of the phd admission process venue must be in the cug inside the campus and the duration of the examination is two hours so you have to appear in this examination irrespective of your national level qualification jrf net gate dst etc etc now the pattern of exa examination is the same as the ugc follows 100 100 marks mcq 50 percent research methodology and 50 percent your specific subject minimum 50 percent you have to secure to take selection otherwise you will not be eligible for admission now the weightage will be given you have if you'll uh, secure the marks a very good marks in the entrance test then 70 percent will be calculated from that and 30 percent from the interview so you have to give the interview irrespective of the if you are a ugc net holder including jrf csir net holder including jrf slat gate teachers fellowship holder any type of fellowship you have any type of examination you have qualified you have to appear for the entrance examination that is why it has been clearly written that you have to appear in the examination which is compulsory for all students and no student will be given admission if you are not able to appear in the examination now there are three session uh, the date uh, the session will be according to the department the session one in the morning session writing of research proposal uske, uh, then followed by the writing of the research proposal 11 30 a.m to 12 got it the second session uh, the continued session and the third session is the continued session so the session will be continued till 6 p.m evening and it is as per the department see education chinese environmental Gujarati German so these department the first session these are second session and these are the third session now the interview will be held on the next day means uh, the day you will give the entrance examination the next day your results the same day results will be evaluated and the next day you have to appear for the interview so this is all about you have to give this application fees 1000 rupees and 500 rupees as per your category 
and you have to appear for the examination so this is the shocking news from the central universities like they are taking examination for all if you are not performing in the examination of the university then you are not able to take admission so please be careful fill the form very carefully if still any doubt then please clear your doubt and proceed for the same otherwise uh, these universities are very good and this the forms will come once in a year thank you so much have a nice day bye bye take care if you have still any doubt then please comment me join the telegram group